Hello guys, Messenger of Death here, and we are here with a guide for Digimon Super Rumble. I'm going to explain some tips for newer players, this is a beginner's guide for newer people, so at least get a bit of an understanding of what to do. It's kind of hard if you can't read Korean, it can be very daunting and confusing for newer players. And the game is still in open beta right now. For Korea, it will not be getting a global release till maybe a year or two from now. They are currently going off the Digimon Adventure story, and this is to help out people who are starting off. Okay, one thing to note is, when it comes to this game, the type of Digimon you have is a very big difference. Vaccine beats virus. Virus beats data. Data beats vaccine. At the start of the game, vaccine Digimon are king. Because there are so many virus type Digimon um, throughout the beginning story area. The, you definitely need it. Further on in the story, apparently viruses get really good. Um, I've beaten up to Infinite Mountain, which is the Devimon section of the Digimon um, Adventure anime section. And Vaccine made a huge difference. When it comes to getting started in Digimon... You'll have to answer questions by Angemon. If you do the tutorial, it'll explain... Um, it'll eventually get to the point where you basically get your starter Digimon. Try and get a vaccine if you can. Your four character slots. So if you want to re-roll, you can do so. But yeah, I'm going to show the importance. So these are all vaccines that are level 50, right? These are level 61 and they are virus. So I'm strong against virus. We are all ultimates right now. Actually, we'll go for that skill, and we'll go for that skill. Okay. So, choosing the right skills can be a big help. Uh, certain Digimon are weak to certain types. And we're allowed to skill that. If you press Alt, you'll actually be able to see all the HP bars, by the way. Um, so, you can tell if a Digimon is getting low, for example. Um, and you'll know whether to go for a certain uh, skill, or prefer, prefer to save your SP... Which is the blue gauge, which is essentially your ability to use skills. So, they were level 6 to 1, I was able to take them on. If I was something like Data, for example, they'd probably have kicked my butt. If I was, for example, viruses like them, it would have been a tougher fight. But because I am vaccine, I do get advantage. Now, this is showing you what you're weak to. So Metal Greymon with the blue with the blue section is what you're weak to. I am weak to water moves, as well as I am weak to data types because I'm a vaccine. So that's something to bear in mind about type matchups. This means I'm strong against machine, um, possibly. To my knowledge, um, obviously Magnangemon is strong against light, but weak against dark. She's strong against dark, but weak against... I don't know. I think that's Earth. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's Earth. But the one thing we all share in common is we are weak to viruses. Try and get a vaccine team. You'll get a Patamon guaranteed, so don't try and get this Digimon early. When you get to this section of the game by just following the story, you will get a Patamon for free. It's a guaranteed Patamon, guaranteed hatch out of an egg. Do not worry about needing a Patamon. You will get one. I advise you to level it up if you don't have a third vaccine or a second vaccine. As it makes a huge difference. Vaccine is king early. But just because you have a um, Data Digimon who is weak to virus at start again does not mean it's useless. It just means your time is going to be a lot harder. But one thing to bear in mind is when your Digimon evolves, it can change... If you ever want to find out what your Digimon did evolve into, if you go to this section here, and was to click on a rookie, for example, it will tell me what the chances are of what it can did evolve into. So if you want to find out the information about what you can potentially turn into, that is a good way to do it. It will not tell you what type they are, unfortunately. But if you ever need to find out that information, you can always Google that for if you know what the Digimon are. 
for example, Dark Tower Animon uh, virus, and you could search out what attribute it is in terms of, you know, type of moves it uses. Unfortunately, there's not that much information about Digimon Super Rumble by using Google or anything or YouTube. I've not really found any guides. So, I've got much more to show you. If you're enjoying the information so far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I plan on doing a few guides on this game to help people, especially English players, actually understand what they are doing. Here, I'm going to explain a little bit about the EVP gauge. Now, you see this pink bar here. That is your EVP gauge. Depending on what form you are, it will drain faster. I believe when you are in... I believe when you're in ultimate form, it's like 2.50 per fight. Uh, 1.50 when you're in champion form. And... When you're in rookie form, it will increase the EVP gauge. So... In order to stay digivolved, you need the EVP gauge, of course. You can buy items which are 4.5k each, but they only increase by 10%. Do not spend money on them. I know it sucks having to go back to rookie form and grind, but trust me, do not waste 4.5k. You could easily use that money elsewhere. For example, trying to get good Tetris block stats, for example which can basically give your Digimon extra stats so they can hit harder. It's much more viable than wasting money. And sometimes you just have to keep spending. Like, I've at least spent about 600k on Tetris blocks, trying to get my Digimon to just have some good Tetris blocks, which can go up to a maximum of 4%. Um, so, if you want to increase your EVP gauge, you need to go into Rocky form. Okay, so real quick. You see these Digimon right here? Notice I've got 18 plus uh, attack. Alert command at the start will allow you to roll stats um, on your starter, depending on what it is. You get random stats, I luckily got 12%, which is the top bit there. I got lucky. The bottom line is what I'm getting from my Tetris blocks here. Now, if we notice the EVP gauge, this is an important thing to note. I have 68%. If I transform into Greymon, it consumes 1%. Each fight I have as Greymon, reduces by 1% each time. As you can see, after two battles, he has gone down 2% total because it's 1% each time. However, if I Digivolve into Champion, that just consumed 2.50 of the EVP gauge. Each fight, while in Ultimate, will consume 2.50 of the EVP gauge, meaning I can do less fights as an Ultimate than I could as a Champion. So sometimes, saying as a Champion is better than going into ultimate form when you're later in the game. If you know your Digimon can handle it as a champion, because you'll be able to fight more, as I'm assuming you're strong enough to take on whatever it is you're fighting. In terms of using skills, they consume the SP. So, for example, if you actually want to find out how much it consumes, that's 94 SP, that's 63 SP. Basic attack consumes nothing. So, essentially... Whenever I want to use skills, that's going to go down. I'll have to restore it with items that can restore those stats, like so. Another trick to use, if I have spent SP, and let's say I didn't want to use a consumable item, I could easily digivolve and it would restore my stats. So I'm going to give a good example right now, one second. Okay, Gaburimon. SP 279318. I did evolve it. I got full SP again. Nice little neat little trick that you can use. This also revives your Digimon. And the Digimon that is first in your party will always revive if it faints. Otherwise, you will have to use these items in order to revive them. You can also fast travel in this game, which are these points on the map here. You have to run up to them and press F. 
But um, if you go to these, this will be a fast travel point. Let's say I wanted to go back to the village of beginnings. I can change the map. And it cost me a thousand bits, but I can go back to the village of beginnings right now. Really quickly. No problem. Village of beginnings is your important hub place because it allows you to buy items. For example, I can get food items which restore HP and SP. I can also buy revival items which are 500 bits each. Or I can buy these items which restore your EVP gauge by 10% but they are 4.5k each. So I would need 10 of these which is 45,000 for one Digimon. Let's say I wanted to do it for all three of my Digimon. That's 135,000 bits which is a lot. Do not waste money on this. Just go into rookie form because every fight in rookie form... Fight something that you can easily handle, doesn't matter whether you're overleveled compared to it or not. You restore your EVP 1% per fight. Okay, so Datamon sells items which can be used in battle. This is attack, this is defense, this is HP, and this is SP. They are essentially consumables which restore points in battle. Or boost your points in battle in terms of the attack and defense. Uh, I believe it's 10% for the smaller Val, I don't know about the bigger one. Bokemon is your Digivolution dude that you can always turn to if you want to Digivolve your Digimon and see what potential things you can turn into if you don't want to use your book. 15 for Champion, 50 for Ultimate, and there's a percentage chance for each of them. As you can see when you go to here, this will tell me the percentage chances. So there's a 10% chance I can get Skull Greymon. 85% of Datamon. This is a mutant. This is a mutant Digimon. This is Gabumon who did not Digivolve and became a mutant. Essentially making him much larger. But giving him champion level-esque stats but keeping him as a Gabumon. In order to revert this you need something called a green syringe. Now the only way you can get these you get one at the start through doing some of the quests. The other way you get them is through Cherrymon here. But the problem is you need to do a lot of the story to be able to get the points to be able to buy one. And this requires you to donate eggs to Boncho Leomon. But you can't do that, like I said, till you advance much further in the story. Not even I can do that at the stage of the game I'm in. So I can't talk to him right now at all. Even if I had an egg on me, I couldn't do anything. Once per day, this tree will guarantee you an egg. Um, I think, at least, I've always gotten an egg from this tree once per day. So, make sure you collect your egg each day. Uh, which resets at 4pm UK time. Um, I'm assuming that's when midnight hits for Koreans. This here is Swanmon. And Swanmon is an important NPC... Because this is where essentially you can buy your items for your baby Digimon to be able to have them evolve. This is your training points. This is food which boosts various stats. Now, food is needed. You need to keep your buff um, filled up to some degree. Because if you do not feed your Digimon, say I disappear for a few days and not feed my Digimon that's a baby, it will die. I cannot stress that enough. You need to log in every day, make sure you feed them, keep that food bar. If you filled it up enough, you can miss a day, sure. But you do want to keep that food bar and you will get different stats. Now these are different foods. The pumpkin is defense and resistance. The artichoke is HP and resistance. The tomatoes are HP and strength. The cabbage is um, SP and defense. Corn is SP and strength. Bell peppers are int and speed. And onion is int and speed. So you can buy these. You can feed your Digimon up five times a day when it's a baby. It will take three days. But this is what you need to actually digivolve them. You can give them three of these per day. So it will take you three days to hatch them until you get the better toys by getting further in the game. As you can see, these are the best I have access to right now. 
This reduces your food bar and your Digimon. So essentially you can force kill your Digimon by doing this for your baby. So it might just be a kill item. I don't know. All I know is I accidentally killed one of my Digimon once by feeding it. I saw the purple thinking rare item. Buy it. Give it to my Digimon. It's probably really good food, right? No. It will kill your Digimon. Bear that in mind. Okay, my game did not have a fit this time in full screen. Thank you. So sometimes I don't know why, but when I'm in full screen here, my game decides to have a fit. I don't know what causes it. But you'll eventually get taken to this island. Every hour, you can get something for free from this tree. It will be a premium fruit, which will give 15 instead of the 10. The 10 ones are the ones you can buy from the store. These are 15, so they'll give better food. I'm assuming they give better stats. And as you can see, food for the food bar. And this is the training points. So three days worth of giving them will fill out to full and I can digivolve. So when you get to this point in the game, you'll be able to get a free egg, which will basically be a free rock and you'll get a baby to take care of and you go through this whole tutorial. Um, if you press this button right here, that is the whistle. So if I wanted it to run to me, for example, I'm going to run over here, press Alt, which allows me to switch to my mouse. Now to do this, he will come to me, as you can see. So say I wanted to make sure that I'm feeding this one, so I don't accidentally feed the wrong one, because they move around. I could then click on that. Obviously, I can't do it today because I've already done it. This is what you do to Digivolve once the green bar hits full. In terms of babies... It's important. Green egg equals a baby Digimon. For example, this is a baby Digimon, which turns into an in-training Digimon, like so. If I was to use a green egg, I would get a baby Digimon, which would take three days to turn into an in-training. I would then have to spend another three days to turn that in-training into a rookie, which I can actually use in battle. So bear that in mind for future reference. Um, so blue eggs will guarantee give you this most of the time, but sometimes you can get an egg which will instantly turn. I'm really trying to get Candlemon right now, but I haven't gotten lucky. And it is random what it turns into... Same with the baby. I cannot guarantee, so... The problem is with fruits is they are a gamble. For example, I know I want Candlemon, which is going to be int based if I get the Digivolution I want. So I'd want to give it, for example, Peaches. And hope that, you know, it turns into Candlemon, so I would get the bonus stats upon it hatching. Which will be points into these sections. For example, this Digimon. Um, as you can see, I only have 7% in Int. But I had 4% from um, it turning into a Patamon. And I also got some other stats. I got 1% uh, speed automatically upon hatching. And a bunch of resistance and defense. 